Cynthia, this is from Joe in Manchester. Uh, man came from planet Mortox, which was between Earth and Mars and was destroyed by planet X. Have you heard about this? Or is this just Joe in Manchester's take on it all? Um, Astronomers have, have considered the possibility that the asteroid belt is the remains of a destroyed planet. Um, there's a researcher, in, a scientific researcher in astronomy called uh, Tom Van Flandern who discusses the possibility of exploded planets. Um, planets knocking together, during the early part of the solar system's history, things were very, very much denser, and there were a lot, of, a lot more stuff floating around and crashing about. Uh, interestingly enough, I mean, our, our own moon is made from a collision with the Earth, but interestingly enough, when things settled down, there was a huge bombardment in our solar system 3.9 billion years ago. So this was 600 million years after the birth of the solar system. Things sort of settled down nicely then. But the whole solar system got absolutely hammered with massive comets or debris or something that came from somewhere. And that event lasted quite a long period of time and then stopped. And a lot of the cratering that we see in the solar system is from that event. And it was a one-off. And no one's been able to actually determine what caused that. And even if you watch programs on the television about cataclysms and they go back to extinction events, they never discuss the late Great Bombardment. It's just this event that really, this what huge call quest, the late Great Bombardment. The late Great Bombardment. Yeah, because it occurred after the point where things settled down. No one knows why. And the solar system, including our planet, got pummeled. I mean, pummeled in such a way that our planet was just unrecognizable. Well, the Gulf of Mexico is supposed to be a crater, isn't it? Oh, sure. I mean, that, but this is on a totally different scale. I mean, the... the, the well, that's the, big enough. That's sure, sure. But the, that event, was it 67 million years ago, that, that killed off the dinosaurs of the Yucatan Peninsula? That, that was a pretty major ex uh, event. But the late Great Bombardment, it pales into insignificance, that dinosaur extinction. I mean, that event, we were talking about sort of multiple... Uh, 10 kil um, kilometer objects hammering Earth and the Moon and the Mars and all of the um, planets in the solar system. This is, this is science, but there isn't an answer for why that happened. So when we talk about fractured planets, blowing up planets, planets knocking into each other, it sounds fantastical, but these events happened, and our own Moon is testament to that. I, I've seen on the internet, I've seen um, somebody has done some research and they've worked out that if you take all the continents that exist, you can put them all together, and they all fit neatly together mm. on, a, on a planet that's about half the size of the Earth. Well, in so, the, in so is it possible that all those comets double the size of the Earth and stretched all the planets out, and maybe the ocean, maybe there were water, a lot of them? The, the, the land mass on, the, on Earth is, is similar to the entire land mass on Mars. Mars is a smaller planet, but they have similar land mass because there's no oceans that we know about on Mars. Um, indeed, you know, things fit together, the continents fit together and they have drifted apart and at one point they were one continent, the Pangaea continent, uh, hundreds of millions of years ago. Mm. Um, the moon was created by a massive impact and so our oceans, the whole of the Pacific, could well have been some kind of impact zone from a long, long time ago, yeah.